What's up guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys what camera I use to stream. I'm gonna show you uh, how I stream in OBS. I'm gonna show you my settings and my scene setup and all of that so that you guys can stream also at home. Real quick, do me a favor and subscribe, like, comment on this video, and make sure you share it so that other people can figure out how to do what I'm doing. Let's get into it. So the first thing I wanna show you guys is the camera that I use to stream. And we will look that up now. You just wanna to go to DJI. Super cool company, they make all kinds of stuff. Um, we're gonna to wanna to go to, you can see down here the Osmo Pocket. We're gonna click that. And I have this Osmo Pocket 3 Creator Combo. Um, it says it's $669. We're gonna click on that. I'm gonna kind of just show you guys uh, what it looks like. Uh, flip through some of these pictures. It's a super small handheld device, uh, able to shoot 2K, 3K, 4K, um, vertical and horizontal. It's super dope. I use it for all of um, all of my videos now, all my content creation that I'm doing now, as well as my streaming. You can see here everything that it comes with. So this is the this is the camera um itself this is a battery pack that goes on to it this is kind of like a hand strap obviously this is the case that everything goes in this is not a battery um it does the same thing as this except without the battery it kind of just extends it uh, if you don't want it so long that's what i've got set up on my desk while streaming this is a tripod um, this is the mic uh, that links to it so that you can you can talk uh, this is kind of like the little pop filter, I guess, that would go on the mic to keep your voice from being so harsh. This is just a magnet clip for that. And this is kind of a lens that it comes with. Uh, this is the charger cord, as well as this is what I'm using to plug it into my computer to stream. And then this is kind of like a case that it goes in to protect it. What I purchased was this creator combo I purchased this 128 gig micro SD and the only other thing that I purchased when you get into it is the $50 like warranty now that I've showed you the camera that I use that DJI pocket 3 Osmo it's super cool uh, works for a lot of different things but since I've shown you that, now let's jump into my OBS and see how I have everything set up. So in OBS, you're going to want to have several scenes set up. As you can see, I've got intro, just camera, my stream, and one that's be right back. This one is not supposed to be. So let me talk about intro real quick. Obviously this is gonna be what you would um, have it on right when you're about to start streaming or right when you start streaming. That way you're getting, you know, you're taking a minute to set up and whatnot. Um, you can make something like this online. You can find a website that lets you create like artwork and, and videos and stuff like that and customize it however you want. But to add this to a scene, we're just gonna do we're going to remake intro. So we'll do like intro. As you can see, this is a new intro. I'll bring it down here. And you're going to want to just add uh, sources. So like add, and you're going to want to do, I don't know, we could do media source. Let's just do okay. And that's when you'll go and find that file of whatever you made for your intro right and you'll just click it hit loop that way it stays in a loop and that would be it for that now if that doesn't have audio and you want audio playing like you can see on mine that there's some kind of audio playing that's because I've got my video and I have like music playing so in your intro you could have your video and then you could go here and then you could add you know another media source and that media source be like an audio file or something or you could just be uh you could type music or whatever and and um just pick like see 
just pick like an audio file and you could hit loop on that as well so it's just looping uh, until you actually start your stream so that's kind of how i have my intro set up let me remove this so my just camera setup obviously is for when i'm just talking to the people um, and i actually have my stream set up to restream in settings you can go here to stream and you can customize it to twitch youtube facebook restream twitter whatever restream allows you to which i don't know why it's not on there but let me connect my account well let me not do that right now but restream allows you to stream to multiple places at once so i usually stream to like youtube and i stream to twitch at the same time so yeah my just camera is just going to be a video capture device where you add a scene and you do video capture device you can just name it whatever and then you select the device obviously i'm using the osmo pocket 3 so i would click that uh, but if you have a different camera connected um, then you would just select that let me delete delete this so with my restream being connected i actually have a chat connected as you can see up here um, and you can figure out how to do that with restream but i'm not going to go over my restream at the moment just how to how to set up everything else my audio input capture is going to be the microphone that i'm talking out of which i actually have routed into my apollo interface as you can see right here so you would just create audio capture device and then you would select the apollo or whatever whatever you're connected to i'm using my apollo for my in and out now my stream setting uh, is capturing mac os capture so you'll go here this is to actually capture your screen mac os screen capture and you will i think i can pull it up from here yeah you will select what screen you want it to capture um, for me i have two monitors running right now so obviously i picked a specific monitor and if you just have one screen then there's probably only one that's going to pop up but that captures your screen and what's going on on it video capture device is the exact same thing as the last one where you pick whatever camera you're using you you just add another one pick whatever camera you're using and you can make it small or whatever you can change the size like this do whatever you want to it and then same thing here the audio input capture is going to be the mic that you're talking through a lot of these settings are just copied you just do the exact same thing on them the only thing that's going to be different on this and this is the sauce now this is a lot of people don't know this but if you click on i think it's on my let me see i think it's on my mic yeah so on your audio input capture at least on your on your stream you can uh, after you create it click it you'll see filters right here you want to add a compressor so it's gonna look like this and copy these settings because they work super well and then you want to side chain to whatever screen that you are capturing so for me it's my screen capture 2 and what this is gonna do is as stuff plays on your computer out for the people in the stream to hear your mic will actually cut off so that you're it's not getting feedback and whenever you stop playing something on the computer your mic cuts back on so you're not going to be able to um, to play music or or play sounds and all that while for me you know i'm doing this for music so when i'm playing music i don't want the uh, you know i don't want my voice coming through while i'm playing music so i've just got it side chained like that i guess if you're gaming you know you can put headphones on and do it that way 
but basically my speakers will be playing into my mic and that'd be it cause some really bad sounds basically so that's how i have that set up and my be right back is simple it's the exact same thing as the intro it's just music and a video and i pretty much just remade the same video with a different message super simple let's go to my settings so a lot of these settings you know i don't i don't know exactly what they mean and what they are uh, i just know they work they work really well so i'm just gonna skim through them and let you guys copy them and you can So this is just going to depend on what you want to stream to, obviously. And then you got to put the server and stream key in there, which they'll provide it. You know, if you're streaming to just YouTube on YouTube, when you click stream, it'll give you this info. Um, this is my, oh, didn't try to do that. This is my output, um, my stream output, and then my recording output, which I'm actually using right now since I'm recording this video. This is how I have my audio set up. And a lot of this has been adjusted. I've gotten different settings from different people online. Resolution is kind of just how you want your screen to look. Obviously, 1920 by 1080 is your typical YouTube wide screen. I don't think there's not anything in here you're going to want to. Yeah, there's nothing in there. Nothing in there advanced so all this works for me there's one thing I do want to look at with you guys which is going to be I'm pretty sure it's this I'm pretty sure it's this video bit rate for streaming yeah I don't know why this is so high this was not this high uh, but this is going to depend on your, I guess, Wi-Fi, uh, your your speed and connection. Last but not least, man, I just want to make sure that I say thank you for watching my videos. And I, I couldn't do this without you guys. I've come a long way in the last couple of months on YouTube uh, with just hitting 3,000 subscribers um, like less than a month ago. And I'm already almost to 4,000. So clap it up for you guys y'all are doing great just make sure that you like subscribe and share <laughs> share the video man make sure that people people get the uh, get the word out and yeah appreciate y'all being here till next time man